Hi folks, you know that Adam Research is dedicated to calculate temperatures on printed circuit boards. I will show you a test case. The test case is using this evaluation board from Microchip. It has got four layers, some sort of processor in the center, and we want to investigate the temperature of this chip by assuming a dummy value of 1 watt for this component. This component has got a heat slug underneath its footprint and all this can be taken into account. This is the three-dimensional thermal model created in TRM version 3. You see four layers. We see the top face and the bottom face. We can watch individually the layers together with the PDH. This is top. Then we have, see here the heat slug. We see internal one, which is almost completely ground. We see internal plane two. This is some volt net. And on the bottom, there is another volt net. Now, what will be the temperature of this component? We can calculate the situation. There is one watt assigned to this block. And we start the calculation. Do some iteration loop until the steady state temperature is reached. This is now done and we watch the results. This is what an infrared camera would see. We see the temperature in the layer and the temperature of the component. That's around 40 degrees Celsius with respect to a 20 degree ambient in free convection in a lab situation, so to say. We can watch the, we can watch through the component. This is a temperature plot of the top layer by itself in a layer one. Watch that nice circular isothermals. This internal plate two that's looking a little bit strange, but that's an effect of the conductivity in this layer and the conductivity in the bottom layer. We can identify the shapes of this um, voltage nets. We can also see a pattern of red circles or drilled holes. Don't know whether this should be uh, thermal vias, but all these vias are insulated in the inner layer 2 and in the bottom layer, but they are connected to, the, to ground in internal plane. In internal plane, they have a hot, te a high temperature, and they stay being hot in the other planes because they are insulated and uh, there is no temperature exchange between the drilled hole and its surrounding.